All right, uh, let's talk a little bit right now about what's happening uh, in just a couple of weeks' time. In fact, the seventh annual, seventh annual uh, event, International Business Trade Show, just around the corner. Actually, it's happening in April, April 9th, uh, and it is uh, a free event for you if you want to participate. On the radio with us this afternoon is Nikki Jafari. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm well. What is your role with the uh, 7th Annual International Business Trade Show? I'm the founder of the show. So I started the show seven years ago and originally started off as the Iranian Business Trade Show and gradually grew and other communities came on. And a few years ago, we changed to International Business Trade Show. So what is it? Pardon? What is the trade show about? Well, the trade show is a very unique culture experience. So we do bring the business community and the multicultural community together. So each year, the mayor and minister of immigration open the show, and we have the local businesses come out, and we have a lot of immigrant businesses come out, and we have the local Haligonian community come out, and a lot of the uh, maybe newer immigrants, one to five years in Nova Scotia, come out. So it's a very diverse show. We have free entertainment on stage. We have a free kids' corner. We have a multicultural food court. It's free to the public to attend. So it's a great venue where you can make a lot of new business connections. If you're a business, you can tap into new markets. And it's a day of family fun. So you can bring out the kids, explore retail shopping, and take on the activities for the kids and the live entertainment on stage. So it's a very unique show. It's where business and family and fun and culture all kind of come together. So seven years ago when this vision came to you, this idea that you had to put this event on, how has it changed? Well, when we started, it was just a very small event. We There was a lot of local um, Iranian businesses that were very small, and they didn't know how to get in touch with the local community here and how to, how to enter the market and how to get their businesses promoted. They didn't have a big funding budget, um, marketing budget. So when we started the show, it was really targeted for that. And then eventually we realized there was a gap in other communities. So a lot of smaller businesses don't have the funds to pay for the bigger trade shows to be able to just, you know, exhibit in them, or they don't even know where to start. They don't know how to start. They don't have the marketing materials needed. So our show is a great stepping stone. So a lot of people start off in the show just to kind of make the networking connections, make the business connections and build on. And then eventually the show just grew and grew. And now it's a, it's a show where we have, you know, bigger brands like, you know, the, 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 the banks, like the Crescos, like the, a lot of the, the bigger brands we're familiar with and we have a lot of the local mama papa type stores a lot of people come there to network to look for employment it, it's a very unique show you have to almost come to experience it to get a feel for it mm. as you say it's it's free admission uh, i assume then it's the exhibitors the people who are there to uh perhaps sell or, or advertise or at least communicate and, and network they're, they're the ones that help pay for this yeah, so our booth holders, they pay for the show, so they buy a booth. But, like, for example, our booth is 290 for a business to come in, which is significantly lower than any other show in town. So we get our cost covered through them, and then we could then pass off the savings to the local community. With uh, all of this in mind, and it's coming up April 9th, and uh, it'll happen at the Halifax Exhibition Center, and it uh, runs from 11.30 till 4.30, you chose April. Why that time of the year? Why, why was that a, you know, an important time to, to host this event? Well, funny enough, originally it was always held in March, so it was it always tied into the Iranian New Year. And as we drifted away and became more international, we moved it to April to kind of um, accommodate more communities to come in because there's a lot of different events and trade shows going in town at the same time. Oh. So April seemed to be a really good time. It was the beginning of spring, and it was just a really good time to get everybody together and start off the, the spring in a positive note. Well, it sounds like you're you're in for uh, an exciting event, and uh, as the seventh annual, did you did you envision it extending past the first year? To be honest, no. And every year, it's just grown, and every year. You know, we've eventually, through the years, added like a food court and the kids' corner and entertainment and the website. And this year, we're adding a seminar um, for local businesses looking to hire immigrants and to come and find out how to go about it and the benefits of doing that. So we've added a, a networking event uh, just for our exhibitors. So every year, we've tried to reinvent and come up, come up with something new. And this is the first year we moved from the World Trade Center to the exhibition park. So that's going to be a different change, just to eliminate some of the parking issues that we've, we've had in previous years. 
So we're looking forward to it, and hopefully each year will be bigger and better. Hate to say it, but I do think with my stomach some mornings, some afternoons, uh, food exhibitors, there'll be lots of different diverse foods there. Yes, uh, we actually will have um, uh, several different ethnic foods that you can try. As well, a lot of our booth holders are retail, so they will be, you know, different um, food or other products that you could buy at the show. All right. Well, wish you all the success. Thank you very much uh, for, for telling us about this, Nikki. Good luck. Thank you so much for having us on the show, and thank you for your time. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, Nikki Jafari is telling us about the uh, 7th Annual International Business Trade Show. And uh, you don't need tickets because it's free admission. If you want to learn more, just go online. Uh, Sunday, April 9th at, uh, as mentioned, 11 until 4.30 in the afternoon. That's what we had there. Oh, uh, we were talking about Irving Sh-